bring that bring that head out like that in other words in such a way okay Now we've carved figures before, so I'm just showing you not to be intimidated because you can do the same thing with a block of wood. Same type of figure, just I cut it out with a bandsaw. Okay, go back and watch that. It's a long series, but it's carving a flat plane figure out of a block of wood. And I bring that guy all the way down to um, that area and that part. bring these these shoes down these shoes are too wide are they too too thick and I'm gonna cut them like this just with a in between there to make the area for his legs and we remove a lot of this and that and whatever and I'm going to bring these these shoes down even more I'm sorry. I'm sorry I knocked that over a little bit. Okay.
pants legs. All it is, folks, is that you gotta remove more wood than what I have to remove. And sometimes you gotta do it. Sometimes you just have to do it. And, and don't become intimidated because something's cut out, necessarily. Say, well, I can't do that because it was cut out with a bandsaw. Because I'm just proving to you right here that you can do the very same thing. I'm gonna bring my head down. What? So, if you look, same. Same thing. I think a lot of times uh, people get scared when it comes to any kind of, of uh, a different approach or aspect to what you have to do. And a lot of times rather than just having to do it out of a block of wood and watch every single particular cut get you a pattern and use that pattern and follow that pattern that's what carvers used to be do many many times years ago is they followed a pattern and actually carving out of a block of wood you're following a pattern anyway you just have that pattern in your mind or, you know, and, and what makes it easier is to go ahead and create that pattern uh, by doing it on a piece of paper or doing it on a piece of wood or whatever that you, you, you uh, have it there. So it gives you a better idea of what you want to start off with. I remember There were people at times that uh, that really got on to anybody that used a rough out or anything like that. And yes, I understand in competition and stuff like that. Yeah, you you have to you have to use you you can't let people just use rough outs in that in that sense, you know. But and just by yourself or producing your things I see nothing wrong with a rough out. I've actually taken rough outs of cowboys and turned them into duck hunters and things like that. So I mean, you know, uh, a lot of people got, you know, messed up over rough outs at one time. Well, you shouldn't be able to use rough outs. You shouldn't be able to do those things. And what they did was right. They put them in the right category of what they should have put them in. And, uh, you know, everything done. And then it got to where it often at times, uh, they even got to where the, you couldn't have any add-ons. Now, what do I mean by add-ons is like what, what Lynn Doty does. Lynn, and, and I've done it. I mean, you know, whenever I add on a... Uh, um, and, and Lynn would, would carve it in separate pieces. That's considered an add-on. Or, or add a, you know, something on. And I, I didn't find that to be that big of a deal, but, you know. I mean, people can do what they want to, but, but you know, I... To me, the finished piece is what matters. 
The finished piece is what matters. Okay, I'm gonna stop right now for a minute and come right back and then we'll, we'll, we'll come back to this, okay?